Good morning. What is up, you guys? It's about 4 a.m. And uh, after hearing that, you're probably wondering, Isaac, why the hell are you up so early? Well, for one, to wish you guys a congratulations. It is day 28, and you have finished the program. You're done. That is it. But uh, also because today I'm going to be attempting to eat 10,000 calories. Uh, the reason for that is because I figure that's a good way to celebrate the uh, end of the program for you guys. It'd be a fun video to do because uh, a lot of people that I know, they're amazed at how how much I can eat in uh, one day, one sitting, one not. They're just impressed by how much I can eat. So you'll notice for uh, day 27, we didn't do a day 27, and that's because when I did this program last year, day 26, that was the last day of dead week, which is the week before finals, and I did not have time to uh, do more. I didn't have time to do another day of the program. I had to get things done because I had to spend all, all the weekend before finals week studying and all the finals week studying because I had, again, physiology and chemistry 101 that semester, and I had a shitty professor for Chem 101, so I had to spend even more time studying for that. So that's the reason for not having a day 27, but for day 27, I do recommend that you do uh, another workout right after the leg workout for day 26. Just look back at any workout that we did during the program and just do it over again. Just to get one more workout in. Just to really, really uh, finish out hard. So right now, to start out the day, I'm gonna go ahead and have some ice cream. And throughout the day, might have some pizza, might have some burgers. Uh, might, we're going to have some burgers and pizza. It's gonna be a fun day. Let's get it going. Just because I'm basic. One of these has about, if you do the, uh, the math, see if it'll focus, it's got about 260 calories in each one, and then it's about 1,040 calories total. So, all in all, I just had over 2,000 calories. And uh, I'll stick the uh, nutrition facts right here for you guys to read. Uh, but yeah, that's 2,000 calories in meal one. And it's currently about 9 a.m. right now, and we're gonna get the second meal in. And I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start with some eggs, uh, scrambled eggs, buttered toast, and some bacon. And we'll see how I feel after that, and if uh, I feel a little bit, like I can still eat a little bit more, I'm gonna eat a little bit more. Here for meal two, and it's gonna be some buttered toast, bacon, scrambled eggs, and I got a yogurt along with it just because I want something cool and fruity. And 
especially like yogurt when it's got some probiotics in it. It's especially important for today because all the food that I'm going to be eating. So whatever the calorie count is for this, the carbs, protein, fats, everything, I don't know what it is right now, but when I do, I'm going to put it right here for you guys to see. But without further ado, let's dig in. cereal. Yep. Good morning. Uh, gonna get ready for class and then after that maybe get some Jack in the Box. So we are here at Jack in the Box and we're going for meal number three right now. Just finished up class. So I'm done for the day. I'm gonna get two burgers and a large fries and I'm gonna get a diet soda. Typically on uh, 10,000 calorie challenges, they don't want you to get uh, liquid calories in. Uh, so I'm not gonna go the easy route and get a bunch of calories from soda. And plus I don't really like drinking uh, actual soda all that much. I prefer the diet just because I don't want the high fructose corn syrup going in me. So I'm gonna get Right now, I'm planning on getting a diet soda, large diet soda, two burgers, and a large fries. And that'll be meal number three, and then a few hours from now, we'll go get some pizza. All right, y'all, we are back in my apartment. Just picked up some Jack in the Box, and got a large fries, diet soda. We've got the Havarti, I think this is it. Is it? Yep, Harvardy burger. And also, napkins. Gotta do plenty of those. Bacon ultimate cheeseburger. Good stuff. So, right now I'm at about 3,500 calories. And this right here should put me, with the burgers and the fries, should put me over 5,000. I think this one I know has about a thousand. This should have about the same. This I think has 600, I think. I believe so. If not, then I'm, I'm still way ahead of this pro this uh, 10,000 calorie challenge. It might be more than 10,000. I'm on pace right now. This will be about this much calories. Let's dig in. Save it for the pizza in a few hours. Right now, it is about twelve forty-six. All right, guys, here we are for not necessarily meal number four. I'm not gonna count it as that because it's not a whole lot of food for me, at least. I just got some Italian cheese bread from Little Caesars, and I got their cinnamon stuffed bites, whatever they're called. I haven't had them before, so I'm gonna see uh, see if they're good or not. This should be definitely over a thousand calories. The cheese bread's like 1,400. The cinnamon bites, I'm not sure yet, but I will include that right here for you guys to see. So without further ado, let's dig in.
last bite. This is by far the hardest food that I've gotten done today. I'm never buying that again. Ended up going to Applebee's, and there I got the apple chimney cheesecake, whatever it's called thing. And it came with a scoop of ice cream, and I ate that, but I'm not going to bother including that because you guys didn't see me eat it. So I'm just going to count this right here. I saved both the cheesecakes, and I also got a little bit of the brownies uh, desserts that my friends didn't want. So I'll add that in as well. I'm really not feeling full at all right now. I'm going to finish this no issue at all. And I could actually go for more more calories. I act genuinely think that I could get to 15,000 if I really wanted to, but I'll save that for another video. I'll just stick with 10,000 for today because my body's just feeling tired and just wants to go to sleep. And I think a lot of that has to do with uh, the amount of food that I'm eating today. So we're going to stick with 10,000 for this video. I'll save 15,000 for another. And we're going to go ahead and get this down and call it a night. the end all finished now that would definitely put me over 10,000 calories sorry if I've got food on my face that was really messy really good but <clears throat> still not feeling full at all and I would eat more but I'm just gonna stick with 10,000 calories for the day I don't know the total count but after I figure it out and everything I'm gonna stick that right right there what is up y'all? It is the morning after the 10,000 calorie challenge and just how I'm feeling right now, I feel normal. I don't feel like I ate 10,000 calories yesterday. I'm going to show you guys how I looked yesterday and yesterday I weighed in at about 220 and I'm going to show you that right now. So my level of leanness right now, it's about what you can expect if uh, from where I was at the beginning of the, the program. If I were to go about two more weeks, so like six weeks in total, and not have any cheat meals at all, that's this. That's about what uh, what I would get down to. That's how lean you can get doing this program. It's It works amazing, honestly. It does not disappoint. Uh, at the end of the program though, when I did this, when I recorded it, it wasn't quite that lean. I still had a few pounds of fat on me in the front. And when I say a few, I mean a few. I uh, still weighed under 230. And I still had a little bit of fat on my tummy. But again, six weeks total instead of four, that had been gone. And I'd be this lean that I am right now at that time. So I'm going to show you guys now what I look like the day after the 10,000 calorie challenge. So it really doesn't look that different from uh, yesterday morning. At least I don't think it does. I'll know better when I look at the film. Stomach's not distended, I don't have any bloating. I still see plenty of definition. I'd say the reason for the zero weight gain from yesterday would be that my body just absorbed all the calories because my metabolism is running higher than most people's at this point because I just finished up maxing all week lifting heavy and I'm super busy with cheer and that's uh, keeping my body running and I'm I'm in demand of all those calories so uh, that is not typical for 10,000 calorie challenge most people when they've done it they've gained about 10 pounds uh, overnight with it and they don't feel as good as I'm feeling right now as light or 
uh, as still athletic. Typically the day after they're bloated, they're full, their stomach's distended and they're not feeling very good at all. They, they regret doing a 10,000 calorie challenge. But so that gives me some idea actually about how my body's running right now, how high in the metabolism is. Uh, again, it's not typical. I don't suggest anybody try that. And if you do try it, don't expect to get the same results that I did, that it to be as easy or to be the zero weight gain. Uh, it's, that's very odd but that's pretty cool for me i like that um so that is the end of the video i hope you all enjoyed it absolutely crushed 10,000 calorie challenge i think it's safe to say so you can check that off the list maybe in the future we'll do a uh, 15,000 calorie challenge and depending on how that goes maybe even a 20,000 calorie challenge but for now i'm just going to enjoy eating normal so that is the end of the video guys I will see y'all later.